Hey there, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Samantha Attard. I'm a wellness coach, yoga instructor, and nutrition PhD living in Washington, DC. And I'm here again with you for another Monday morning yoga session. This is our Yoga for Beginners class, so it doesn't matter if you have previous experience with yoga, if you've ever done, if you're a super yoga master, no, no problem. Um, it's great to see you guys all this morning. Um, and I'm really excited today, because today we're gonna do three poses to help you really start to build some strength. Um, a lot of times we take about 15 minutes to really move through a nice flow, but today I'm going to actually really slow it down and we're going to talk about three ways that you can build up so that you can really do some of those foundational yoga poses safely, happily, with a little bit less stress, and then start to really build your yoga practice. Because it turns out it's not really just lying on the floor, stretching, um, and not really working. There's actually a lot of strength these, um, these poses take, and as you use more strength in your yoga practice, you'll start to um, make things even more and more better. You'll keep on improving. So we're gonna do these three different poses that I talked to you about. Really break them down. Again, they're really the foundational yoga poses, so um, this is gonna help you a lot in your practice and getting a lot stronger, um, being able to really work through a class. Share out with your friends, family, followers, anyone that you think could benefit from yoga or these wonderful videos that we're sharing with you. Is yoga more core and flexibility or something else? I mean, a lot of it is really core strength um, that'll help you in a lot of these poses and help make it um, a lot more fun. Um, and flexibility, you don't have to be flexible in order to be good at yoga, you know, definitely not. You don't have to be flexible to be good at yoga, but um, definitely as you do it more, you will gain more flexibility, you will gain more core strength. So that's exactly what it's all about. What it's really, at its core, what it's all about is breathing and just simply breathing during your movements and really um, being aware of your body um, and your breath um, as you do it. Okay, so um, let's go. Awesome, so come here Matt. We always like to start with a child's pose, so just uh, get our spine stretched out. So take your knees nice and wide, uh, heels come to your hips, hips to your heels, arms out long, head to the ground. And now that you're here, take a deep breath in through your nose, Long exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, really stretch long. Exhale through your mouth. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Start to come through your hands and your knees. We'll do cat and cow pose. So as you inhale, you're going to drop your belly and move your feet up. As you exhale, you round your back and tuck your chin. Inhale to drop your belly. Gaze comes up. And then exhale to round your back. Really press your shoulder blades up. Now continue to move with your breath here. So inhale and exhale. But this is actually a first pose to really help us start to build some strength. So the way that you do this is really spreading through your fingers, really pressing into your palms so that your arms are really active and engaged here even as you move. So you drop your belly, your gaze comes up, and you press the full into your hands. As you exhale, you Down to the ground as you reach 
your hips up and take another deep breath in and exhale. In. Thank you. 
keep this nice bend throughout multiple poses. And again, staying safe with your legs and start to find some joy in your pose. So we're going to start with a high lunge. That's the pose we're going to be really using to help strengthen here. And lunge is so, so good for your butt, for your hamstrings, for your quads. So let's get to it. So if we're in our down dog, which is where we start from, you can lift your right leg up into the sky. Bring your knee in towards your nose, step between your hands. You might need to then heel toe your foot a little forward. So I already have a really great deep bend in my right knee, and my left foot is on the ground. First thing you want to check out is make sure that your feet are like on train tracks, not on a tightrope. So I work my right foot over to the right a little bit. So I find a little bit of um, width between my feet. Then I'm going to take my fingertips and keep my chest pressing forward. I'm going to pull my left heel back into my right foot. So my legs are really strong and really active and engaged here. My hands aren't doing a whole lot. So this is the first step to build some strength in that right thigh. Then you can even start to play. Maybe you lift your hands up. Maybe lift one or two. Finding a lot of lightness here so we really see that, okay, it's my legs that are pulling me up, not my hands. Next thing you can do, as that feels good, is then start to lift your torso up. So you can keep your hands down by your sides, to your thighs, to your heart, somewhere down here. And again, finding a nice bend in your right knee, pressing your left heel back, really lift up through your left knee. So you don't want it all nice and bend, you want to be really lifting here. And your hands can come to your heart, and here's a great pose to help you start to work on some of your endurance in your right thigh. So as you inhale, straighten through your right leg to give yourself a little bit of a rest. And then exhale to re-bend your right knee. Inhale to straighten through your right leg. Exhale to re-bend. And you can do this as many times as you want, but it's really great because you keep coming back into the pose. You keep telling your muscles to remember what it feels like to have this nice, deep bend in your right knee. You can take your hands out of the ground. Walk your right foot back. We'll come to down dog and do this on the other side so that you're nice and even. And, um, and then we really, again, drive it home what this third pose is. So, down dog. Reach your left leg up, knee comes in towards your nose, left foot steps down to the ground, walk your left foot out to the left so that your feet are on train tracks, hands content onto the ground, pull your chest forward, press your right heel back, having so much strength already in your left knee. Then you can start to lift one hand and the other, lift both hands, move away from all around, realize that your legs really are holding you up here, and then start to lift your torso up, hand from your thigh to your heart, up by your side, whatever it is you need to do to uh, feel some comfort in this pose. And then start to straighten through your left knee as you inhale, exhale to rebend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale to rebend. And do this one more time, straighten, and then rebend your left knee. You can stay right here. If you want to come into the full pose, reach your hands up into the sky. You've got so much good strength going on on your left leg now, really good work. And then you take your hands down to the ground, step your left foot back. You can come to your downward facing dog. And let's end with the child's pose. So take your knees wide, hips to your heels, arms out long, head comes down to the ground. And really press your hips back, find some release, because that was a lot of work, that was a lot of strength building we just did. And then you can come back up to find your seat. So I'm going to come up here and uh, re rehash those three poses that we talked about to help you build your strength in your yoga practice. So those three poses that we did were um, prepping for down dog, uh, prepping for chaturanga, or like the lowering down, the low plank for the vinyasa and then also for our lunges. So for our downward facing dog, come into your cat and cow pose, be on your hands and knees, press strong into your hands, nice width um, and spreading of your fingers and press into your palms. And that really will help as you come into your downward facing dog. If you're trying to come out into your vinyasa sequence, come on out to your high plank, you can be there in that push-up position, hold that position, lower yourself down to the ground, making sure you keep your elbows bending back and then the third one is our lunge, keeping that bend in your right knee, um, finding that strength in your legs before you lift your torso. Let me know, do you guys have any questions about any of that? 
You can always send me a message if you do on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. I'm at Happy Healthy Sam. And definitely give me a follow over on my channel. We talk about nutrition, do some recipes all throughout the week. Um, so I'd love to see you there. Um, thank you guys so, so much for joining. It's always such a pleasure. If you have any yoga questions, anything you'd like to see, um, any questions, comments, please, please let me know. Again, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Happy Healthy Sam. I'd love to see you guys there um, so we can continue this conversation and help you grow your amazing yoga practice. So thank you guys. Have a fabulous, fabulous, wonderful week. Talk to you soon. Bye.